So hi, this is Kim Grennan, and this is another episode of Mommy Cosm Reviews. Um, today is February 8th, 2011, and this is the 14th episode of Mommy Cosm Reviews. Woohoo, we're getting to be pros at this. Um, for those of you that are new to the show, um, what happens is I will talk a lot <laughs> about different products, um, and we'll chat about them back and forth in the interactive chat room. Um, so if you are on um, Mom TV, on Mommy Cosm, or on Ustream, you need to get onto the Mebo chat room if you want to participate in the giveaways. I will ask questions. The first person to appear in my chat stream will be, to answer the question correctly, will be the winners. And I will announce those both in the chat room and live on the show. And tonight we have seven giveaways. They're a little smaller in value than what we're used to, but they're pretty cool anyway. So let's get underway. I wanted to actually share with you, if you haven't read my blog this week, which I know I have a lot of um, viewers of the show that don't actually read my blog. Oh, the horror. Um, and I was being a complete total dork after going to Blistem last week and made a new little trailer for Mommy Cosm Reviews. So I wanted to share it with you guys. It's really silly, really goofy, and it totally cracks me up. <clears throat> so here we go. <laughs> totally cracks me up. So I had to share that with you guys. You guys can talk about me in the chat room and say how much of a dork I am, but I'm loving the new iMovie. Um, mommy gets around. Mommy has lots of hairstyles is what I'm noticing. Did you guys notice that? It was like like a, I don't know. There's funny. I should market that. I, I probably will start using that. I might do a couple of different things. I know. It's the different hairstyles through the episodes. Thank you to Judy. I don't see her out here right now. Um, she did my hair earlier, but yeah, um, the hairstyles crack me up and all the different products. It's really kind of neat. It was kind of fun. Okay, so we're going to go forward with the um, required FTC disclosure. Um, basically, you guys that are here every week, you can chat it out in the chat room over here um, if you want to, but it's the same thing. Um, what about those nails? What are you guys talking about? I'm not getting involved with your chat. Um, the FTC information discloses that I receive products for free and I review them and oftentimes the companies send things directly to you. Um, in this case I'm holding each of these, each of tonight's giveaways right here. I have them in my possession and I'm going to be mailing them to you directly. But they did come from the companies and not on my own pockets so just here you go. Hey, we're going to start off tonight talking about McDonald's. Um, those of you that know me know that I am not typically a fast food restaurant type of person, but McDonald's got me with their oatmeal. Um, they sent me some coupons, um, both for me to use to review the product, and I did so on my blog. Um, and I actually loved the fruit and maple um, oatmeal with brown sugar. I wasn't really a fan of the one without brown sugar. But it really is as good as it looks on TV, and I'm a fan of oatmeal. I know, the oatmeal is so good with brown sugar. Have you guys tried it yet? I'm seeing the lattes are yummy because somebody heard me talk about them before. Yes, the lattes are divine, and I reviewed that in my review as well. It wasn't something I intended to review. But you guys know that I'm kind of a latte nut. Um, I'm actually a gold card member at... Starbucks, <laughs> um, and I'm in love with McDonald's um, caramel mocha lattes right now. Um, they are half the price for the same size at Starbucks, so you know where I've been going. <laughs> been there. I'm not a coffee addict. 
I'm a one day one a day latte addict. Let's let's go with that. So we're gonna get through this part real quickly because I have seven, did I tell you? Seven giveaways for you guys tonight. So we're gonna go right to the question. And the questions tonight that have to do with the McDonald's oatmeal, because I've already reviewed it on the blog and I've told you guys how much I love it. Um, and that I love the lattes and I highly recommend going for it. Um, I'm going to go forward straight to the questions. The questions center around breakfast items and it's going to lead into our next our next company and our next product. So a couple of you, and I'm seeing the coupon goddesses here, hello, you might know the answers to these rather quickly because you were part of the meeting that I was in as well later. So question number one, are you ready? Are you guys paying attention? I want to see a yes in the chat room or I'm not going to proceed. Okay, yeah. Here we go. Don't start guessing numbers. You guys are freaks. You don't even know it. Mm. Okay, here we go. <laughs> the question is, according to the Action for Healthy Kids, what percentage of school-aged kids consistently eat well? So what percentage of school-aged kids consistently eat well? I see 5%. I see 11%. I see Coupon Goddess saying like she's going to remember that. Yay! She's saying 12%, 35%, 30 Can I say that so far all you guys are guessing way too high? It's lower than that, which is really sad. I see 10% and Aruba Ant, you're not allowed to guess. I'm skipping over you. Okay, Freeze, I have, I have a correct winner. And it's not going to be Aruba Ant because he's a big fat cheater. And he's not allowed to give the answers. And he actually doesn't know the answers tonight, so if he pretends that he does, he has not seen my questions. Some nights he does. Tonight he has not seen my questions, so don't believe him. But he randomly guessed correct on this one. So we have Coupon Goddess. Welcome. <laughs> coupon Goddess won the first coupon from McDonald's. So I'm going to type that in so you guys can see that. Oh, God. Why can't I spell Goddess tonight? It is 2%. Isn't that sad? It's kind of really sad. Um, yep, she'll she will gladly eat it, she says. Um, and this is the coupon here. And they're good for a while, actually. They're December 31st, 2011. So they're pretty good. Um, but isn't that sad? Only 2% are consistently eating well? That, that kind of scared me and made me think about if whether or not my kids would qualify for that. So all the winners tonight, even if I know you outside of this little box in this show, I'm going to ask that you follow up with me via email so that you're sure to get your prize. Um, send me an email at the mommy at mommycosm.com. Tell me that, hey, won the coupon for the oatmeal this evening on your show. <laughs> so that I remember. Um, I will go back through the show and, and pull the winners out if I have to, but you'll get it much quicker if you remind me. Okay, so we have another one coupon for the free oatmeal for you guys to try. Next question is, according to the Action for Healthy Kids again, one out of how many kids come from food insecure homes? And what they define as a food insecure home is a home where they're not sure where their next meal is going to come from. So one out of how many kids in the U.S. it is, come from food uh, insecure homes. I'm like, what is that term again? So guess in the chat room and the first person with the correct answer that I see in my chat room will be the correct one. I'm seeing one in three, one in five, one in eight, one in ten. Those are not correct. One in twelve. Keep guessing. You're almost there. You're close, guys. I see fifteen. I see you guys stopped. Did you guys keep guessing? Is it freezing on me? Lily says 15. I'm going to tell you, you guys are climbing higher. You want to go lower. Firefly says, <laughs> says 7. Coupon got us no idea. She was there. And we have a winner. And it's Mom of Best Baby. Baby. I'm going to spell that out a little better. So mom of best baby, you are the winner. It is one out of every four kids in America lives in a food insecure home. Um, very 
stressful for me to think about things like that um, right here in our country. Um, so mom of best baby, if you could email me um, at the end of the show or sometime tomorrow if you have to, <clears throat> at the mommy at mommycosm.com, I will get that right out to you. Okay, I have one more oatmeal this evening. And I'm going to put that over there so I know that where I am. It is another sad statistic. It, it just, it horrifies me that, I mean, right here in this country. And you'll see why we're talking about this in a moment. So, I, she said, Copeland Goddess is saying, where's the banana bread? Um, that means that some people don't have access to banana bread, and that makes me really sad as well, because, you know, what's life without banana bread? <laughs> Seriously. Okay, the third question um, is, again, for a free coupon for McDonald's oatmeal. And our question is, I'm going to have to make it a big one because I can't read it. My eyes, I'm getting old. Here we go. According to a study by the National Food Service Management Institute Supplied Research Division at the University of Southern Mississippi, uh, that's a mouthful, distributing breakfast in the classroom increases, increases consumption, decreases disciplinary problems, and increases the focus on academics. Yet, what percentage of classrooms in America actually serve breakfast? So the question is, <laughs> which percentage of classrooms in America, um, in schools in America, actually serve breakfast, even knowing how great it is for focus and discipline for the kids? How many actually offer breakfast? Oh, being loopy sis. You hit the nail on the head right away, our first guess. All right, you can stop guessing because she got it. 5%. Nice job. So being loopy sis is the winner. So again, even if you've won here before, <laughs> even if I probably have your address three times over, you have to thank your husband, puppy for that one. Did he know that one? How did he know that one? That's quite the statistic. Now I can tell you, well I won't tell you yet, I'll wait. Yeah, he guessed it, good job. So are you gonna give him the oatmeal or are you gonna have it? You're gonna keep it, aren't ya? <laughs> I'd keep it. Okay, so I need you to email me. No, it's for me, it would be for me too. I completely support you and understand. Um, so being loopy says if you could is it a one-time win thing I'm seeing? Um, no, you can keep winning all night long if you want to. I'm completely cool with that. Um, so that's fine. <laughs> yep, keep on, keep on guessing. Not a problem. You can win multiple times, and people have before. And you can come back next week as well. Yes, please um, email me. Thank you. I'm going to focus here. <laughs> here we go. Okay, the rest of what I have um, came from Blistom. Um, the sponsors at Blistom Conference, I can't even begin to tell you how fabulous they are. They did such a great job with their booths. They did such a great job um, distributing their message to us and what it is that they were looking for. I have no idea what people are... Oh, Rufus. <sighs> Rufus, Rufus. I have them all excited for percentages. <laughs> Um, one of the meetings that we um, went to, actually, uh, was with Kellogg's, and they were one of the sponsors. And it wasn't what they gave away for swag, it was the message that we walked away with, and it was with all those statistics. And it, it really made me want to get involved in, you know, what, it's such an overwhelming, sad statistic that... They actually have started a program uh, called Share Your Breakfast, and if I could just speak a complete sentence, I could tell you about it. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Let's see if I can speak. Kellogg's has a great new program called Share Your Breakfast, and if you share your breakfast with them, they will share breakfast with a child who needs it. They have teamed with the Action for Healthy Kids, um, which is why I was mentioning them before. They had us... Um, in a, in a room for a meeting and 
I needed to share this because this is something that I thought was really cool that they did. It was a very like elegant, classy room that they set up, but look at these flower things. That's actually like corn pops. Is that what they have? Corn pops? Sugar pop? Uh, I don't know. That's cereal <laughs> inside there. So I thought that was pretty cool. So Kellogg's Share Your Breakfast. If you can either go to their website and you can upload a picture and it's at shareyourbreakfast.com every single day between now and July 31st. Um, for every breakfast that you share your picture, it doesn't have to be a Kellogg's breakfast, take a picture or describe your breakfast to them and upload the information at their website. They will give a breakfast um, the equivalent to um, for Action for Healthy Kids who then works with the schools. I can tell you that Action for Healthy Kids is a for real organization. My kids' school actually works with them. And just this year, they've started a program of free breakfast for everyone. So anybody that gets to school between 8 and 8.30 can stop by the CAF and they can eat a breakfast before school for free. Um, that takes away the stigma of the kids that are, you know, from the underprivileged houses. And honestly, it, it, I love it. I think it's a great program. And I'm really impressed with them. Now, if you are a geek like me and like a number of you that I know, um, put this into your phone tonight. Put this number in. I have, if you look it up under Kellogg's, I have them in my contacts. 21534 is the number. And you can text a picture or text a description of your breakfast. And you can do this each and every day. You can do it for your kids. You can every day until July 31st. Their goal right now is to be able to donate a million breakfasts. So get involved. If you know, Those statistics are heartbreaking. So I have started texting my pictures. And I've made it easy because I put the contact right in my phone. I just go, Kellogg's, take a picture, do-do text and they responded back to me. So there's no giveaway associated with the Kellogg's thing except for the giveaway of hi this is gonna feel really good when you go do this to help something and it's a good lesson. My kids I'm gonna start working with them and taking pictures of their breakfasts and then they can send a text. My daughter is able to text now so it'll kinda of give her an idea of how to give back and how to help and make her aware that there are kids that don't have breakfasts. So I love that. Very easy. They've made it extremely easy to make a difference. And if you don't have a cell phone, I'm seeing um, mom of best baby is saying, then go to their website and do it. Because you obviously have a computer because you're watching my show. <laughs> so you can go to their website and do it. It might not be something that's as convenient for you to do every day, um, but you can definitely go to the website. Okay, another sponsor that I really liked, and there is a giveaway involved for you guys for this one, is Red Lobster. And it's funny, I went through all my pictures after the conference to show you a picture. Red Lobster is just getting into the social media scene, um, and they were actually asking what they can do to get involved with bloggers. So, you know, we bloggers, you know, told them a lot of advice, and I hope that they took away with a lot of it. Um, but one thing that they did give us are $20 gift cards right here. I had not one picture of their booth because I was way too busy eating their lobster bisque and their lobster rolls because you go to their booth and that's what they're giving out to everybody. They had these little cups and they had these little like mini lobster rolls. So um, my hands were a little busy. I didn't really snap any pictures. Sorry guys. Too busy eating um, to show you how gorgeous it was. So. <clears throat> the one sad thing for me is that Red Lobster is not so close, <laughs> the closest one. Um, we did used to have one in Newington, New Hampshire, but it closed. Um, and I know that it's because it's a tough market up here because we have fresh lobster all the time. Um, and we have a lot of local, local, you know, restaurants that, that people go to. So my question for you for the giveaway is... Oh, and I don't have my slide that shows you. The giveaway is, because my slide's not there, um, I'm not going to tell you where they're located because that has to do with my question. So the giveaway is a $20 Red Lobster gift card shipped from me. I don't think I need to show you anything else about that. And the question is, which state has the closest Red Lobster restaurant to me? And this is according to redlobster.com. So if for some reason they've built one that I don't know about, we're talking about what showed on their website today when I looked it up. 
So which state? <laughs> Where am I again? You kind of would need to know that, wouldn't you? I am in New Hampshire, for those of you that don't know. I'm seeing Maine. No, I don't think that they um, would have any in Maine because Maine is high the lobster state, so not in Rhode Island. Although if there is one in Rhode Island, here, let me put it this way. The closest one, and we do have a winner, so I'm going to freeze for a second and tell you guys to freeze. I was surprised that this state had the closer one, but it was five miles closer than the one in another state. The coupon goddess knows the answer, but she's not telling. She can tell. You, you gave yours away, too, so you're allowed. Um, there is one in Connecticut, Mrs. Firefly, but... Oh, you're quick on the fingers, because that's you that gave the right answer. The closest is actually in New York, and it's 130 miles away from me. Um, those, there's one in Connecticut as well that is 135 miles away, so whatever. So, Mrs. Firefly is the winner. And I believe she said that Rufus, who's her husband, um, actually lobster and lobster. And I know that he travels a lot, so he'll get to go to Red Lobster when he's not going to Hooters, right? <laughs> right. Okay, so just, uh, you know, you won it for Rufus. Yay, Rufus. Um, so, Mrs. Firefly, if you could email me as a reminder, I would greatly appreciate it, and I'll get that out to you. The next company that impressed me and that I walked away with information from was Yo Crunch. This is not Yo Play, which I actually thought they were associated with Yo Play. It's a yogurt, and they have strawberry, peach, and blueberry. And I tried all three mm, <laughs> while we were there. They were just handing it out. Um, so the breakfasts, um, I'm used to a little more protein with my breakfast and their yogurt um, they had yogurt and, and granola and stuff too but this was a nice prepackaged thing that we could walk around with that was pretty yummy um, I like that they come in clear containers so that you can actually see the fruit on the bottom um, unlike some other containers that you're kind of guessing that there's mystery fruit on, fruit on the bottom so you can really see um, see all of it and it's it was really 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 yummy um, let me see here what do we have over here if you are not one of the winners tonight, I actually have, I have three, three free, free coupons to give away for you guys. So you can try a four pack for yourselves. If you are not one of the winners tonight, um, you are able to go onto their website, which is yocrunch.com and get a $1 off coupon, which I believe it's $3.99 or so. So I know, I know, I'm noticing that Aunt is quiet on here. You guys aren't sidetracking me as much. It's usually a little game in the chat room to see who can distract me the most, and he's just not doing it. I wonder if he's working. He might be trying to work. So, has anyone tried the Yo Crunch? I know Melanie has. Has anybody else tried? No? Melanie, yes. It was yummy, I know. Yum. No? Good, I'm glad. So maybe I'll expose some new people to a new product tonight. No? Awesome. Not Skyping. He better not be Skyping. He's still in my bandwidth if he's like, I'm not working. Listening quietly. Oh. But baby, nobody likes you quiet. <laughs> he really likes you being obnoxious, stirring things up. All right. I'm going to do a question. You should be baking. Melanie's trying to tell you that you should be baking banana bread for her. Yeah, banana bread. There you go. I'm disqualified. Okay. <clears throat> okay, now you're getting... Now you're talking. Now I'm feeling a little better in there. So if, if you're watching the archives of this, I often, my eyes travel over here because that's where... That's where my chat box is. So I'm not looking at you. I look down here. It's because I'm reading. Okay, my first question for a coupon for Try One Free. Who makes Yo Crunch? It is a, a major company. Um, and I was really surprised and pleased because I like this company. Who makes Yo Crunch? Nestle's. Nope. Not Nestle's. Unless Nestle's is the parent company that owns the other company. It's not Dannon. It's not Stonyfield. 
It's not Yo Adrian. It's somebody that makes, and I'm going to give you a, a, a clue here. I have not, <laughs> coupon goddess, it kills me how to answer. She knows the answer to this. Um, it's somebody that makes ice cream, typically. That's how I know them. It's not somebody that I know through yogurt, and I'm really kind of glad that they make yogurt because their ice cream has all natural ingredients. 80s, getting closer. Briars, <laughs> see, best mom of best baby again. Great, <laughs> mom of best baby is the winner. Um, it is Briars, and I love. I joke around with my kids when we check at check the ingredients on things because my kids are ingredient checkers at the store. And I joke around with them that they can read the ingredients for briars. You can read, there's milk, <laughs> there's, you know, real ingredients. It's nothing, nothing gross in there. And, and they make this as well. Um, so it's just as good. Uh, their standards are just as high with it and it tastes really yummy. So yes, the answer is briars. Um, so again, when you email me later, um, include what you've won on there. Um, let's go with another question. Move right along here. Which was my favorite flavor? And I'm not going to go back and tell you what the flavors were. <laughs> Make it hard for you guys because otherwise it'll be, this will go by too quickly. So I'm waiting. Which was my favorite flavor of the Yo Crunch? And she is on a roll tonight. She's going to come back. She's going to be hooked. It is blueberry, and again, Mama Best Baby is the winner, so she gets two coupons for the free. Um, now, these coupons, just to let you know, they do expire April 30th of 2011, um, so you're going to want to get them soon, sooner rather than later. I know, I'm reeling them in, I know. One of my regulars is saying reel them in. Um, yeah, I am saving postage. See, we're saving the environment. So again, with that email... <laughs> do that and I have one more see that's why I say that you have to watch the that it's my chat room because my chat room doesn't have it that way see nope that's why I have it sorry but um <clears throat> Mrs. Firefly, if you really, really want to try it, I have my own coupons, and I'll be getting some, and I'll let you try it with me. So, because I know where you live. Oh, crud, I just lost my chat room. I'll take the kids instead. Deal. Not a problem. All right, I'm having hard technical difficulties over here. This is the last question of the evening. Taking candy from the kids. No, she's the one that gives the candy to the kids, too, so she's fine. So this will be the last question of the evening, and um, we'll chat a little bit after. And I actually do have a preview of what next week is, so you're definitely going to want to stay and see what that is. So last question, you guys ready? Yeah, Rufus, I take Pez from the kids too. Don't tell. <laughs> I do. Okay, we're ready. Last question. Bring it. Okay, what is my favorite flavor of Briar's ice cream? I'll give you a hint. Um, so some of my regular viewers might remember. It's my favorite haagen too. It's my favorite haagen too. It's what I get in Aruba when I go to haagen Although in Aruba, when I get the haagen I put caramel on top of it, too. Mm -hmm. It's really, really yummy. Oh, we have a winner. All right, let me scroll up and make sure that I didn't miss anything. I have Bring It Busted Mint. Cherry Mint Chocolate Chip. Vanilla. Yep, we have a winner, and it's the Coupon Goddess with coffee. So the Coupon Goddess gets a coupon. Isn't that funny? <laughs> it is coffee. 
You do know me. And we didn't even have ice cream together, so isn't that funny? Um, for those of you that don't know, Coupon Goddess was actually my roommate at Blistem this year. So, again, um, even though we slept in the same room, you're going to have to remind me because we both came home with the flu and, yeah, I have zero brain cells. She was the sick roommate, but I came home quite sick as well. Um, so for next week, I'm so excited. Um, I'm a jockey brand ambassador for their new sport line, uh, and I am going to be reviewing. Um, I have three pairs of their sport line of their pants, their performance pants, which are awesome. You guys are going to love them. Um, I am a sports jock. You know that. Don't make fun in here. <clears throat> Excuse me. See, my throat's still kind of icky. So next week I have um, a pair. Um, I have three to give away. And I have a pair to give away on the show. So two are going to be given away when I post my video review um, for Jockey. And I'm going to share the video review during a live episode next week. And I'll have a pair of the Jockey pants to give away. Um, so you'll be able to see my whole thing. And then you'll be able to, um, if you don't win the pants here, you'll be able to comment to be able to check out the pants there. Um, and then... I also have something from Hallmark next week. Um, have you guys seen their recordable books? Have you seen those? Because I'll have a pair. I'll have a pair of those. I'll have a book for you guys for next week as well. So yes, on TV, heard of it. They are awesome. They are, and I have one that is um, so cute. The, I love Bugle Boy in the day. There we go. See, now he's mixing up that chat room. Um, they are, the, the pants are great, the books are great, and I'm, I'm just really excited for the episode next week. So, woohoo! Um, I'm going to run um, the credits because it's already 8.33, guys. Tonight went by so fast. I had so much fun. Um, I'm going to run through the credits, and then, as always, I will stop the record, and I'll come back to chat with you guys if you have any questions about anything or you just want to hang out for a few minutes um, with me. So, which typically I stay on till about 8.45 or so, and then we talk. So, thank you everybody for participating, and I'm glad we have some new viewers um, that, that raked it in this evening, so I'm sure they'll be back. Um, and here are the credits. <laughs>